Hi everybody, lovely to see you all again. I'm really happy to be joined by Tijan. I hadn't realised how long it was since we've actually done a video together and Tijan on my channel, which is really, I'm so happy. She's so busy and although I get to see so much of Tijan and enjoy her company, I feel really grateful that I've got the time to do the video today. So thank you Tijan. Uh, we're going to focus on skincare, um, the differences between Tijan's skin, mine, our ages. Um, I don't think there's anything that would cross over. No. In terms of makeup, there probably will be loads of products. But for skin, you know, my needs are, I've just turned 50, just had my 50th birthday. It feels like a real landmark. In some ways and in others, nothing's changed. But it's just made me more aware of the fact that I need to let everybody, everybody I know who's so much younger, focus on how to mm. prevent making problems for themselves later that they're going to have to correct which costs time and money and sometimes it's not even possible to do. My skincare is going to focus on skin for today from my age. So Tijan, um, let's start with yours. Okay, so I got a cleanser and it's by Aven and it's the cleansing gel and I think I first used this and even talked about this on my channel probably when I first started YouTube a few years ago and I really just started, re started using it again because my sister has been using it for like four or five years even. It's the only skincare product she uses. Um, and I have been really enjoying this. It's, it is gel consistency and it's really good for oily or problem skin, but you kind of have to get used to it because it's quite drying. Mm. Like very drying. So oh, if you don't put something yes, on you after, should. you feel really, really dry. But I'm so much less oily with it, using it. I don't need to use my oil blotting paper so much. And it's really clean and it's not irritating at all. So I think if anybody's looking for a really good cleanser for sort of problem skin that's like relatively, I think it's relatively cheap, I think it's like eight pounds. You have I think 100 mil or 200 mil, which will last you a really long time. It smells really fresh and clean. Last a long yeah, time. you just use a really small amount and I don't use loads and it foams up really nicely. I know foaming cleansers can be quite scary, but this is really gentle and January Jones uses it as well. Oh, does she? Yeah, okay. it's apparently her favourite too. So it's an incredibly like cult product. So I've really see. been loving that. And I've only really been using it for the last few weeks, but I've really noticed a difference and I really, really do love it. If you're not having to use those blotting papers as much, then exactly. that's Exactly. It's doing a really good job at controlling oil. Yeah. So I'm actually totally the opposite. I haven't got with me today a product, but I'm a great believer in oil cleansers because my skin is so dry. So I might link below a few of the uh, products that I swear by to cleanse. So to move on, uh, if we assume we've cleansed and we're now going to be using serum and then perhaps face mask, this is a um, serum by La Mer and it's called uh, Je Naissance, so it's like uh, rebirth. And it is a little miracle in a jar. It's a pipette a formula. <laughs> in a bottle, absolutely. Yeah. Pipette formula, four drops, and the way the La Mer yeah, it smells amazing. Like all the Lemaire products, it's very botanical and um, it really does smell quite, quite, it really does smell like it's doing the job it's mm. supposed to do. You're supposed to put it in the palm of your hands and breathe it in and press oh, wow. it. Oh, it smells amazing. And I've been using this for about six weeks now, um, maybe a little bit less, and it's a real anti aging um, formula. Mm. And when you say anti aging, there's so, it's such a huge so spectrum of, yeah. of products. The interesting thing about this is that what it uses is it harnesses the technology of the miracle broth that La Mer yes. used. And the uh, scientists discovered that some crystals had grown overnight in the lab oh. with the normal miracle broth. And then they carried on developing and harnessing that and that's what's it made the serum. Know. So following on from, from the serum, I have also been using this uh, La Mer mask and it is called the, firming, the Lifting and Firming Mask. Um, and I actually haven't been using it as a mask that I've kept on for 10 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever. I've used it as an overnight treatment. So they did say in the blurb that's what you can do. And I found that, I don't know, I, I'm not a great one for putting masks mm, on and then not doing amazing. anything. Well, you paint it on. And I've never, I've never used firming treatments up till now. I've always found that, that my skin problems have been pigmentation or, you know, fine yeah. lines and dryness. But I think maybe it's something to do with that sort of, like I said, that that pivotal thing mm. of turning 50 and the opportunity to try firming treatments. I don't know whether it's in my mind, but I really do feel I've got more of a defined area around here, defined jawline. Everything does feel slightly lifted. I've been using this really religiously. Now, this is not a cheap product. This is a really... 
quite investment. expensive investment, but you get so much in the jar and a little goes a long way. As I said, you paint it with this great brush and it's got such fine bristles that you really get good coverage. I take it round the eyes. You're not supposed to, but mm. I'm, I'm, I sort of, I'm always a little bit, um, I, I push things a little bit and if it tingles, I'll tissue it straight yeah. off and it's never tingled. But I think if it's firming for everywhere else, it's going to firm around exactly. that. And that's where I want the firming. And I've been taking it onto the neck, waking up in the morning feeling super refreshed mm. and invigorated. So as I said, firming and lifting haven't been words that I've gone to for skincare until now. And I am really, really excited to see these Results. These results, I think, I think they have been literally superb. I'm not one for facials, so I don't get that wonderful um, glow from having facials. Yeah. So I do think that these products have give been the facial at have, home. give give you the, the facial at home. It's been they've been amazing. Um, okay, so my next product is something that I've been using on and off for about a year and a half, maybe two years, and it's by Paula's Choice, and it's called the Skin Perfecting Two Percent BHA Liquid with salicylic acid and it claims to create even toned skin, reducing redness and build collagen and clog and diminishes enlarged pores. This, I was using this every day but I started peeling it because it's actually quite stronger than I thought mm. and it actually, with the cleanser combined, it's quite drying. So I now use it every two or three days and it really helps it brightening, unclogging pores, Really, they're literally doing exactly kind of what it says. I think even you could yeah. use that and probably get amazing results that with it. That brand is one I keep hearing people talk about. I've never used yeah. anything from them, but it seems yeah. to be a real cult. People. I mean, it's not know. exactly like a pretty bottle or anything, but and it smells quite strong. I don't smell. think you'd ever really need a pretty bottle to do that job. But it's basically it's like a liquid exfoliator. So I use the Curran's Daily Exfoliant, the which is probably gentle locked, one. The yeah. gentle one. That's probably a lot sort of calmer. Yeah. But um, there's other ones that you know have a lot more of a. You like P50 as well by Biology I, I do. I can't remember which one I use. I think it's the first one. Yeah. They, there's, there's different. Yeah. There's different grades of strength. There's oh, one. Really? I one know. or two. Yes. And when you get used to one, you grade up into the other. Know. And I'm not sure which one I'm using. Whether it's one or two but it's amazing but no it doesn't smell nice that yeah one. well I, I think liquid exfoliators are really important to um try and find one as gentle as possible for your skin i think no matter what your skin type they're mm. really important aren't they they are i use pads as well that are infused yes. with liquid there's two kinds i use there's dcl which i think i used on i uh, talked about on my last skincare and trish mcavoy do an amazing oh, weekly yeah, like peel with pads that you can um wipe all over your face again similar concept yeah. and it's infused with the uh, with the liquid yeah they're re they're really good. I'll I'll um, mention those below as well. I don't necessarily have them in front of me to put up yeah. to the screen, but uh, I can vouch for the fact that they are really superb. So this is a product by Declior for under the eye area, and um, I'm always on the lookout for uh, eye products that help to lift and illuminate. And this is by Declior. It's called um, Aura Absolute. And it smells, you have no idea to show, just oh. smell it. It smells of pure jasmine. So you put it, you're supposed to apply it straight from the, it's oh one wow. of those ones that goes straight from the uh, applicator in a circular motion. And it's got a um, lovely sort of particles of, oh of shimmer and light. Um, I'm not sure how uh, how particularly on ongoing it would be as a, deep skincare yeah. thing for somebody with more, you know, deeper, deeper lines like, you know, from my age. I actually think this would be perfect for younger people up to sort of maybe up to 40. Oh, I need it I'm, I'm using this as a so treatment nice. before I put on my, um, uh, my concealer yeah, and so it's, it's really, like makeup, really lovely. It's, got, like, light it's like makeup. So actually I think, Tijan, you should have this and enjoy it yeah. and uh, it's it, it's amazing. There you are. So that's one that does both of us really, exactly. really well. Yeah, I'd love to use that. Um, it's very circular at the it, moment. And it smells incredible. Okay, so next up I'm going to talk about a serum that I've talked about so many times. I'm only going to do it really quickly, but it's by Sin Skin Suticals. It's the Phyto Corrective Hydrating Soothing Fluid for Irritated or Sensitive Skin. This is actually a brand new one. Uh, my old one is all finished. I go through them like one every two months and I've been using it on and off for about seven years and I really love it. It's the most hydrating serum I've ever used but it's also antibacterial and it helps fade dark marks so it kind of is like a super hero yeah. product that does everything you could want it to do. Yeah, um, it's quite sticky and tacky and I've had people message me being like oh I bought it and I don't like how tacky it is and 
I, I, don't, I don't mind it, it's just part of the product, it, 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 just, I it love sinks in, yeah, actually I like, feel as exactly. if there's a residue on the skin because you know then that there's more penetrative exactly. power Exactly, it. it's not just kind of sunk in and that's it. Do you and use it at night? I use it morning and night yeah. and it sinks in within about a few minutes and I, I put moisturiser on over in the evenings, not in the mornings because it's hydrating enough just mm. on its own. Mm. It smells really lovely and fresh and botanical. It's got a slight green tinge but again, again that absorbs so quickly into the skin it just kind of makes any red marks calm and if you squeeze a spot you just kind of put it on over and it's like antibacterial mm. so it's really good. Mm. So my other new discovery, I've always been a fan of Charlotte Tilbury um, cosmetics. Yes. I just find them Incredible. They're, They're really so effective, beautiful. aren't they? And they're lovely to use. They're lovely to use. Quality they do. Is great. The quality is good. The colours, the the palettes. I think the way they position the colours, they, the four colours or even just the two, they work really well together. And they're yeah. never colours that are too out there. Yeah. They're all very very usable. So the skincare was something I hadn't really ever delved into. These two products are absolutely exceptional. This is the night cream. Uh, called Magic Night Cream, the Magic mm. Day. Actually, no, I tell a lie, I've used the Magic Day. The mm. Magic Day is absolutely beautiful. The Magic Night has a... Oh, it smells, the smells scent amazing. Okay. Is, it's like a balm, isn't it? Mm, it is. It's very much like a balm. I've always been a believer in balms, actually. It's like, it's, it's more like a balm than a moisturiser. Yeah, yeah. There's a... Um, there's oh, a, it smells so, it smells like a lovely like, summer's garden. And you re you do feel quite, again, we're talking about tacky, you get a real tacky residue with this. But for those skins that are dry, mm -hmm. and probably not even dry actually, I think this is a real multi-purpose across the board skincare mm -hmm. product. It would appeal more to people who've got dry skin because yeah. you get that feeling of yeah. uh, like nourishment. Like doing and, something. Yeah. yeah. The scent is out of this world, Heavenly, it is, and yeah. you'd, you'd want a body lotion of that. I love that. It's so, so beautiful. Yeah, so body lotion would be a great idea actually, Charlotte Tilbury. Yes, really good Charlotte idea. Tilbury. Body lotion in that. Well, actually, here we go. So this is the mask version of it, which you can use on areas of the body ah, that are dry. So it's also a cleanser. And it's also a cleansing balm. It's a multi-purpose. I've used it for all things. I don't want to use it as cleansing balm, but it's it just off. so beautiful. You kind of feel it's a waste just to put it on and wash it straight off. It does cleanse well, but mm. I, I wouldn't want to use such an amazing product just to cleanse my skin. Yeah. So what do you use it for? This I'll use as an all-over mask. It, it's a it's a more intense version of this amazing night cream. Yeah. It's got and then do wipe it off. Scent. No, you Keep don't. It on. You you can wipe it off if you've got too much residue. Yeah. Me, I'm just like. Sinks and in. what kind of results do you get? That is groundbreakingly glowing. Soft, baby soft skin in the morning, but I will also, I often have a lot left on my hands, I'll take it right up my arms to my yeah. elbows, uh, because it says you can use it on, yeah. on the skin. You couldn't use it as a body lotion because actually it would just be far too tacky. Mm. So I'll use it on my cuticles and my wrist here and all the way up my arms. So when I finish putting the product on, uh, before I go to bed, I'll wipe any little extra yeah. anywhere. And uh, the scent again is that I'm having like Sunbury Garden. It's like walking into mm. a garden that's just laden with all of these incredible, yeah. beautiful blossoms. Um, and a little goes a long way. They're beautifully packaged. Of course, they look exceptional on the bathroom mm. shelf. But Charlotte Tilbury has kind of crossed a line of doing some great cosmetics and great and skin, great adding skincare. in the skincare. Yeah. So my next ones are my last two, and they're just kind of my moisturiser, my under eye cream, which I don't know if I've ever actually talked about, and my facial moisturiser. I've been using the Tellerian Ultra Fluid Intense Soothing Fluid Face and Eyes for again years. I think you found this for me online on I Boots did. when I was really struggling with my skin, and it's really really nourishing. And considering it's a light cream, if you feel it, the actual consistency is so um, like it's not it's not like a gel cream that sinks straight in. It feels really hydrating. It's got no scent. Mm, no, it hasn't, has it? But I'm... it really is. So so hydrating. Do you feel it? Does That's it feel far like it just disappears? More hydrating than I would have. Exactly. Thought. It's quite emollient, so it's perfect for problem skins. It's and also, she was saying, right? Yeah. See, they are a superb. They are superb brand. Yeah. They address so many skincare issues. Yeah. I think it's harder with someone like La Roche Posay or Vichy that are in boots, and you have to really look carefully yourself and do it your own hard. research. Yeah, they're, they're, it's not really labelled properly, but yeah, the, the Tellerian Ultra Fluid is 
incredible if you have oily skin but it's still dehydrated and can be dry then this is just you still feel it on your hand yes. can't you it's yeah, really it hydrating which sinks in really lovely and then for my under eyes i've been using the la mer eye concentrate for do you use this as well i love this it smells like cucumber it's divine i use this in the day and then i'm going to just get onto this is going to finish off really well okay i've got a perfect and i've been i've life. been using this probably for like nearly a year i've only this is only my second pot of it so that's pretty good going and you just a really small amount yeah. goes a long way i, I massage it ring in finger i do yeah. massage it in i don't I just over tap. my eyes as well and in the morning it makes such a good base for makeup and concealer and just everything goes on really smoothly so i mm. love that yeah mm. and then your eye cream so my my eye cream is we're going back to charlotte tilbury here uh it's a beautiful version which is similar again in formulation to the mask and the night cream it's got the same scent which is again quite astonishing as we're saying to be able to take things right up to mm. a, a little more water oh my down gosh, finished that pretty much it's pretty you? much gone this has been amazing i'll only use this at night because it is a it's heavier got retinol in. Product, product it's got retinol in as have i didn't mention as have the other two products mm. they've got retinol ah. but this is quite astonishing that it does have retinol quite a few people now are starting to incorporate retinol around the eye area yeah. which is exactly what you need um, actually, I know Trish McAvoy do an amazing hyaluronic acid yes. uh, serum for the eye, which I'd be very keen to try because I yeah. did sample it and it was great. And I think it's a serum on top of a cream. Yeah. So I think we've had quite a lot of fun actually talking about diverse products. And well, yours is very like luxurious and nicely scented. Yeah. Mine's quite basic and simple, but yeah, it's quite nice to see the contrast, isn't it, between different skin types and different ages? It's nice to see the contrast and I'm also surprised that we actually crossed over with two yeah. products that we both use and well, can for really eyes. enjoy. <laughs> yeah, for eyes, yeah, exactly. But that's again surprising in itself yeah. given that there's so much. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and uh, any questions please message me and uh, feedback. I'd love to um, hear what you think if you've used the products or if there's anything else that you feel you use that does a similar job to the ones that uh, uh, we've been discussing here today. And um, I hope to see you again very soon. So bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.